So in the spring or summer times, you want to start off with a primer on your face, but you want it to be hydrating and use the more moisturizing ones. A great one is the Too Faced Hangover Primer, and I think you could use that also as a moisturizer as well. But today I'm going to be using the Shiseido Refining Makeup Primer. And it's really great because it's a thin consistency, but also smooths over the skin. So just taking that on my fingers again and just putting that in the T-zone area. Especially if your skin's dry, choosing one of these moisturizing primers will really make your foundation look really natural and dewy. So then moving on to foundation, probably my favorite foundation, and it is the L'Oreal True Match. It's a medium coverage, but you can also build it up. So I love this one because it gives you a really naturally flawless kind of look with just one layer. And your face doesn't look too shiny when you put it on, but it still has that natural glow. So my favorite brushes to put on foundation is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush and the Zoeva Flat Top Buffer Brush. And these two are really great because the bristles are really soft and the more you buff it in, the more natural it looks. So today I'll just be using this one, put, just putting two pumps on my hand and then dotting that over my face. You can also just put it onto the brush, but I think this way you use less products and it evenly distributes the product over your face. So just a few dots, pressing this in and then using circular motions. Make sure you really uh, work this product into your skin. And the more you buff it in, um, the heat on your face will naturally just break down and heat up the product. And that's what makes it look really natural and you don't get those foundation streaks that sometimes you see. So just press it and work it into the skin. If you have dry skin, you can also spray your brush with um, Max Fix Plus. And this will just dampen the brush and when you put it on, give you extra glue. But because I have oily skin, uh, I try to stay away from extra shine. <laughs> now, depending on the coverage you want, say if you have really good skin, you might just want to stick to this one layer. Or if you feel like you want to just build it up a bit and make it medium to full coverage, just put a few more dots on and just keep working that into the skin. With a flawless, dewy skin, you don't want to see any imperfections or pigmentation because that's kind of a different look. So just continuing and concealing any um, scars, pimples or discoloration just in the usual areas around the nose, around the mouth and on any pimples. For this look, you want to look really awake and bright and loving life. So take a lighter color concealer and just put that under your eye. I'm going to be using this Illamasqua concealer in the shade light. Okay, and then I think I'll just use my hands because this consistency is really thick. So by using my fingers, it'll kind of warm up the product. And then again, just dabbing that under the eye really gently because this area is the most sensitive and you don't want to drag it around too much, otherwise you'll get like premature fine lines on the nose, a bit on the chin. And you just want a natural glow, so you're not really going all out contour and highlighting, but I mean, if that's what you want, then you can go ahead and do that, which I also have a video for, which I will link below. <laughs> So on those really hot spring or summer days, make sure you set this down with a powder. And today I'll be using the NARS Transparent Loose Powder, yeah. And this one's really great because it has light reflecting elements in it. So when people look at you, you won't be like overly shiny. Because you still want to keep a bit of, um, you know, shine coming through. So with this natural dewy foundation look, you want to find a bronzer that's not so matte and not so cool. So sticking to the warmer tones. And again, I'll be using this Rimmel bronzer because I lost my other bronzer. This one does its job. So just taking that on again, my contour brush. And you're not really contouring. So it's just on the cheekbone area. So if you were contouring, you would just stick to this area here. Um, but when you're just bronzing the face for a natural, you know, sun-kissed look, just 
um, around the face. You could even go with a bigger brush. <laughs> this is a really big brush. <laughs> because with bronzing, you're not contouring certain areas. So it's just kind of the all over look. You just want like where the sun would naturally hit you. And a lot of the times that's the forehead. So just all around the edges of the face, like that. Okay. When you pick a blush, I usually go for a really light flushed pink or maybe a coral. And you can also choose a blush with fine glitters in it because this will really give you that like incandescent lit from within kind of look. Um, and today I'll be using the YSL Palette Esprit <laughs> I don't want to say French, I'm butchering the language. Anyway, this is like one of my favorite ones. So... <laughs> it shattered into a million pieces. <laughs> this like actually breaks my heart. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, anyway. It's still usable. So it's actually got um, three different colors in it. There's like a yellowy highlight color as well as the light pink blush. So usually I just kind of, well, when it wasn't broken into a million pieces, like swirl my brush above. I'm just taking this on a fluffy brush. So just putting that on the apples and then just working it backwards. When your blush has these really fine glitters, you have the option to put highlighter on top as well to give it even more like glow. Otherwise, you could also just leave it like this. Highlighter is really what gives you that lip from within, dewy kind of look. So you're not sweating, but you just look really healthy and juicy. So today I'll be using the Benefits What's Up. I always wanna call this WhatsApp. Dabbing it just on top of where we put the blush. Can you see the glow? <laughs> you can just take this up into the eyebrows as well. And also just above the arch of the eyebrow. And where you would highlight under the eyebrow, so just here. So it should kind of just naturally follow this outer edge of your eye. If you're naturally oily, throughout the day, your face is going to produce its own oils anyway. So I would stay away from overkill with this highlighter because then you'll just look like a grease bum. But if you have dry skin, you can pack a bit more on and get away with it because your face won't look as shiny um, as the day progresses. So then just putting some on the nose as well. And this will also just make your nose look a bit taller because the light will just naturally hit onto the high points of the nose, which people are naturally attracted to. And also on the Cupid's bow. And you can even put some on the chin or even the forehead, but my forehead gets really oily, so I'm gonna stay away from that. So I just went ahead and did the rest of my makeup, like my eyes, my lips. So the last step you can do is put on a setting spray. This will really just keep all the makeup you put on in place and so it doesn't start dribbling down when it starts getting hot. So what I'm using is the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And this is the travel size I got in Sephora's Deadly Isle at the end where everything's like miniature. So you can just put on two or three sprays of this This will just make your foundation just set together and you look really nice and natural and dewy. So yeah, it's just a really easy foundation routine. It's pretty much just choosing the right foundation and using a highlighter and also maybe a blush that has really fine glitters in it and you can easily achieve this look. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, check out my other videos and I'll see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>